Hey guys, ADC here once again. And then here we're with part five of the Super Tool family, the Leatherman Rebar. Yeah, I know it doesn't say Super Tool, uh, but when this came out in 2012, that's what it was marketed as, is this a small Super Tool. This Super Tool 300 had those, it had replaceable cutter plier head. Well, this was the first tool of the four inch, in the four inch range that uh, had replaceable cutters. Nowadays, you have the Charge Plus and the Wave Plus, and they have basically this same plier head. It's just been ground down to look more like uh, a regular, uh, what the plier head looked like on maybe a Blast or a second generation Wave, second generation Charge or first generation charge well I have actually one of these to show this is what they uh, the charge plus you know this is basically the same plier head it's just been shaved down and ground down and smoothed out oh and I do have a, another charge over here I forgot about that that this is the other plier head I was talking about that plier head so that is what was on all the other four inch tools at the time when this came out. It has basically, this. it's got a serrated blade. Um, of course it's got can opener and wire stripper on the can opener. Phillips head, square. Uh, square Phillips head. That way you can use it with the removable bit driver. Has a wood saw, a double-sided file that lanyard ring, uh, medium flat driver, and large flat driver, and an awl, and a plain edge blade. I think the only thing that this one doesn't have that the Super Tool has probably is the uh, fine flat driver. It has everything else, and uh, I'm sure they could have fit it in, but they didn't. You know, there's plenty of room to fit something in there, and I'll talk about that later. But that that's sort of wasted space. That little lanyard ring, unless you use a lanyard ring, then it's great. They came out with the rebar in stainless. I'm pretty sure there's no cap crimper versions of these, so they have stainless. It has black oxide, same tool set. There was an olive drab uh, jungle var variation. It had olive drab handles and stainless olive drab here and uh, stainless tools. Did not get one of those. Kicked myself now because you can never find them. But this is the Coyote Tan one. I think it's a Cabela's. Uh, Exclusive. I'm not exactly sure. If that, you may be able to buy it from Leatherman themselves as well. Black oxide tools and then the Coyote Tan handles. Really durable finish. Nice, nice tool. I have. I bought this one from Cabela's and then I think I ended up buying another one cheaper on eBay because it was mis, mis uh, labeled. Maybe I'm thinking. There's a bite now and I bought it and got a pretty good deal on it. And I've also, as I did with the Super Tool 300, I have modded a few of these tools, color swapped them. Um, stainless handles and then black oxide, everything else. And then I've got the other one over here, opposite, with a kick clip on it. I put that, changed out the uh, pivot to a kick pivot. And added the clip from the kick made a nice clipped tool and then also I read did all the tools in this one and uh, oh now it's also a version uh, a knifeless version it has scissors well mine's not knifeless it has scissors so I added scissors in and reconfigured the uh, tools a little bit and I added the only thing I lost was the lanyard ring everything else is in here there's more tools in each handle, but like I said, the lanyard ring is the only thing I lost. So, yay me.
I don't know if I'm in frame. But yeah, all the tools. But yeah, yeah, they're very moddable. The uh, tools from the internal tools of the Wave, the whole Zytel series, the Blast, the Fuse, the Kick, all those are interchanged with the rebar if you ever want to mod anything. And disclaimer, if you mod it, you forfeit the warranty, so you've been warned. This one I bought because I I don't know what happened to my other black oxide rebar. Lost it, I guess. So I bought this one and it was painted in and someone had put a nylon clip on it. That's a pretty handy little clip too. And it does not show any any signs of moving at all whatsoever so if you want to put a clip on i can recommend these that'll they'll stay on okay uh, anything else <clears throat> yeah the, the rebar uh, sorry hit the camera uh the rebar is uh i i, I in 2012 when these came out I bought one immediately and uh, never looked back I mean it's a small super tool it's it was lighter weight you know good in hand it has the rolled edges the cutouts like the super tool 300 uh, the lock tabs I mean it's it's a super tool 300 downsized I mean they're just it's its baby brother just like the PST is to the super tool and the uh, pulse is to the uh, super tool 200 um, I, the blast in the, is sort of like a the middle child I guess of the Zytel family uh, it doesn't really there's no really in the Zytel series nothing that is actually a mini super tool I guess they were smaller versions with less tools, I guess. I guess that would be a fair comparison. A blast, a fuse, or a kick to a uh, core. But uh, this one, direct, direct comparison. All right, guys. Uh, this is the last part in the series. I hope you've enjoyed them all. Uh, I don't know if I said this is part five, I guess. But uh, I got this Cabela's exclusive. Uh, never seen one with Cabela's right on a rebar. Uh, doesn't come on the Coyote Tan one. But uh, it's very uh, a very good tool. And I used uh, from 2012 to about 2018, I used a rebar a lot. I only did I switch when I bought a uh, black oxide charge. But I used a stainless just stock rebar for three or four years before ever messing with one and I never had any problems with them except that I lost my first one you know that, and then that that week I ordered another one because I couldn't be that I carried the super tool 300 uh, you know while I was waiting for the rebar to come in the mail and I do still carry a super tool occasionally uh, if I'm gonna do some heavier duty stuff you know just because they're nice tools too, but the rebar, because of its size, beat out the super tool in my pocket. And then, of course, I added clips and stuff, and it made them even more carryable, so I carried them weekends and all. But uh, there's also a, a Wrangler edition, I think. Uh, it's, a, it's a stock tool set. And uh, but it's like bronzy, I think. And then I, I, I did mention earlier that there's a knifeless rebar, it has no serrated blade and no plain edge blade, but it does have scissors. So, as for parts of the world, I guess that frown upon knives, different areas, you know, uh, frown upon knives, so they helped with that, of course. In some countries, you know, the laws are so strict that even an awl or scissors would deem it illegal. So, there's that. But, uh, I don't get political in none of the knife carrying stuff. I can carry anything here in the great state of Tennessee. <laughs> um, I, 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 I think they rescinded most knife laws back in, like, 2014 or something. I can 
I could walk down the street with a machete if I wanted to. But, uh, <laughs> anyway, rebar, Leatherman rebar. It's a, uh, the baby brother to the Super Tool 300 and the last in the series of the Super Tool family until they bring out another tool. Um, like, subscribe, um, comment, guys. You know, I can mess up while I'm rambling on. Correct me if it needs to be. Uh, I'm trying to speak louder, but uh, sometimes I mumble, and I apologize for that. Uh, I'm only talking into a phone. I'm using a phone to record all these videos, and uh, someday I might upgrade to a camera. But uh, hit the bell icon, and uh, if you want to see any and all of my content, I have an Instagram page, EDC Gear. I put pictures on there daily, so check that out if you don't care. And then also give a shout out to my forum family, multitool.org. I'm Poncho65 on there. And if you have any questions, if you join in, uh, get find me, track me down. I'm a moderator there. I'll try to answer any questions you have. And uh, also, guys, uh, the Leatherman Collector Club, I'll give them a shout out. And uh, there's a Facebook page for multitool.org as well. And uh, Leatherman Tool User Group, great bunch of guys there. EDC Cooperative and EDC Royalty, great groups. Uh, I guess that's all guys I appreciate it I hope you've learned something in some of these videos and uh, I have actually relearned a few things that I had forgotten about and uh, I appreciate it thanks for watching see y'all next time bye